They just watch it and they think, oh, that's so stupid. Why is he rubbing a melon on his face? Like, who cares? Hey, everybody, I'm Nick. I'm a director living in Taiwan. And today we're talking about Tai Ming Liang's second feature film, uh, Viva Le Amor. Yeah, th this film won uh, the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival. Yeah. And I think it was yeah. the film that made Tai Ming Liang, who is a Indonesian, Indonesian born? Indonesian born, Indonesian born Taiwanese, Taiwanese citizen yeah. who makes films in Taiwan. It is, the, it is the film that kind of made him a art movie uh, like superstar or famous in yeah, the art yeah. movie scene. And now he is very popular director, mostly in Europe because he because a lot of his films uh, screen in Europe quite often. Yeah, France. Yeah, yeah, France. They, they love him over there. His films are very, very, I would say, like, very characteristic of, like, a European art film. Like, when you think of, a, okay, what is an art film? You would think, like, his movies will kind of check all the boxes, which is they're very slow-paced. Uh, okay. A lot of strange things happen that you maybe you don't really understand. <laughs> why of, people are doing things they're doing you kind of are like what what's going on why is he the, the philosophy in europe right the, 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 the existentialism yeah it's all about existentialism it's a very like depressed movie um yeah i think the film is interesting because it's what it's what people call like minimalist so like a lot of the Taiwanese new wave cinemas, it's slow. Not a lot happens. The plot isn't very. Um, is, there's not a lot to the plot. Mm -hmm. The plot of the film is that three different people are living in an apartment, and they kind of don't know that the other people are living there. So they're all living in the same apartment, but they, like, one person stole the keys to the apartment, and one another, the other guy had a one night stand with a woman, and then mm -hmm. stole her keys and kept kept living there. And so it's a little bit about how in a city you can't really connect. Even if you're living with someone, you can't really connect with anyone. Yeah. So it's all about this loneliness of, of going through life, not being able to actually have any connections with people. The only time characters actually talk to each other is if they're doing some kind of business or if they're trying to have sex with each other. Mm -hmm. and, the on and then uh, the two male characters sort of form a friendship. And once this happens, the male, the uh, the more the quieter male character falls in love with the other guy, yeah, because, because I think it's the first time that he actually has a connection with anybody. Even though this is not as much as you expect, can just yeah, they just talk just for like for five seconds. <laughs> yeah, they say like, oh, where are you from? What's your name? And then he falls in love with him. This is how sad city people is because we. We are so weak connection. Not, yeah. Not like people in the countryside. They know for each for each, each other for a long time. Yeah. Years along, and in the city, we kind of hard to build this kind of long time, long term relationship. Yep. So it's it's also part of the sadness in the city. Yeah, it's like the right. it's like the problem with modern life is that it's so hard to actually make connections with people because you live in a place that moves so fast and so many things are happening and there's so many people around you but actually you don't know any of them yeah yeah so even the, the house they trying to living with is not she's her house right she's, she's, she's selling the house she's just selling the house and, and she also kind of lives in this living in still yeah. secretly living in the yeah house. yeah so the house it isn't her, her house yeah, yeah so yeah, so nobody owns nobody this house. Own a house. It's a house that's for sale and everybody's living in it. So. It's, uh, I think the reason I would say this is like a classic art film is because it's, a, it's like a visual poem in a lot of ways. There's a lot of different interpretations you can get out of the meaning of the movie. So, yeah. so this idea of, oh, they're living in a house that nobody owns and inside the house there's no furniture, there's no sheets on the bed, there's, no, there's nothing. Uh, all of these things that happen, you can, I think you can kind of interpret, people who watch it can kind of interpret what they want. Yeah. So you can really, because it, there's not so many things in the movie, it's a very like bare kind of film. There's every little thing that happens 
as an audience member, you can kind of try and think, oh, what, what does this mean? So there's a part where the character is like always drinking water. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it means, yeah. but I think there must be some meaning to this thing of this character always drinking this water. Okay. I don't, but I don't know. So I think that's the kind of the, the interesting part of the movie for me is trying to think, get inside the director's head and think, okay, so why, why this shot here? Why, why this prop? Like why, why is he carving a face into a melon and rubbing it all over his face? Yeah, yeah. Like why are they, why are they doing these things? I definitely think every, this, everything he does has a very clear choice but it's up to you as the viewer to try and figure out what it means to you. And I think that's why a lot of people get turned off by these kind of movies and they don't like them mm -hmm. because they don't want to do the work to have to figure it out. No. They just watch it and they One, think, two, three, oh, that's so no. stupid. Why is he rubbing a melon on his face? Like, who cares? Yeah. Why is she eating cake? I mean, to me, I think it means like these people are trying to find connection even in anything they can, even if it's like this object that that has no life no. they're they're trying to use these lifeless objects to fill their sadness but they can't yeah a lot of the things going on in this movie even in the very beginning like man male trying to suicide yeah suicide. he tries to kill himself so it's it's for me it's kind of okay so is this guy sad is this guy have some problem of it but they don't explain to you they yeah you don't know like, you don't I, know what's going on but this is how people Maybe it's some way to feel he's alive. I think the film is trying to show all the ways that people try to fill the loneliness of their life. So having sex with people, smoking a lot, drinking. The one guy's always drinking beer. The, the, then they do weird, like eating food, trying to get good at your job. Like she's always trying to sell these houses. She's trying to work all the time. Yeah, people have to have a way to get through their life, right? Their life. Yeah. Like we did, we made movies. So yeah, yeah, we yeah. We, are living. we put things up on YouTube. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. so I think those are the, the, the interesting parts of the film. For me personally, I do think the film is, it goes, I like slow movies, I like this kind of thing, but it's a little too far on the slow side. There's some scenes where you're like, Okay, this yeah. can speed up a little. Jeez, I don't need to watch. <laughs> this just is not even the slowest movie of time. Yeah, there's tons. Of well, yeah, I know. This is like a faster movie. Yeah, this is super fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, he's got some really slow movies. So, uh, timing now. We will. If you want us to review any other movies, if you have a timing now movie that you really like, you can write a comment, and we will watch it. Yeah, we won't, we won't to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll drink a cup of coffee and watch it. And uh, if you have any other movies you'd like us to uh, talk about, recommend, uh, let us know in the comments and like and share, subscribe, send this video to your mom. Yeah, <laughs> to anyone you know. That. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. bye.